these humans share many universal feelings and experiences, such as the feelings of love, belonging, friendship, joy, sorrow, etc. Another universal human experience is our struggle with believing things that are not true. We have all at times believed a lie that has negatively affected us. You know, I think one of the most prevalent lies in our culture is the lie that I can never change or I should never change. But I think this is the best news possible. True change is possible and powerful through the Holy Spirit. And why do I say that? Well, besides my own personal testimony that I can share with you about how the Holy Spirit has miraculously changed me when nothing else could, we also see these stories of radical change throughout the Bible. You know, one such story that I love is found in Acts chapter 10 and 11 with Peter and Cornelius. Peter was one of Jesus' beloved disciples. This guy was impulsive, passionate, and the disciple that Jesus actually commissioned specifically to be the rock of the church. Those are some big shoes to fill. Another thing about Peter is that he, as well as the other Jewish disciples, struggled with prejudice against people who were not Jewish, and those people were called Gentiles. See, up until Acts 10 and 11, Peter pretty much thought that the gospel was only specifically for the Jews, and he continued to follow strict laws to keep himself separate from Gentiles. For example, he wouldn't go into their homes or touch things that they did. But see, God has a way of changing us when we least expect it, but need it the most. God speaks to Peter and tells him three times to not call anything impure that God has made clean. See, this encounter with God changes Peter so much that when Cornelius the Gentile asks to see him, Peter goes into his home and ministers to him and his family. Hear what Peter says to Cornelius in Acts chapter 10, verses 27 through 29. Says this, while talking with him, Peter went inside and found a large gathering of people. He said to them, You are well aware that it is against our law for a Jew to associate with or visit a Gentile. But God has shown me that I should not call anyone impure or unclean. That's powerful. So he says, When I was sent for, I came without raising any objection. Now, Peter continues in verses 34 through 35. He says, I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but he accepts from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right. See, then the Holy Spirit comes upon everyone at this gathering. It's a beautiful story. And Peter shows us that God can change anyone. God can heal the broken. God can free the captive. God can humble the proud. God can unite the divided. Now, if you're hearing this today and you're struggling to change, I would just pray that you would know and experience that true change is possible and powerful through the Holy Spirit. Let's pray together. Jesus, we wanna thank you that in you, true change is possible and it's powerful. We know that you are a God who can change our hearts and lives. And so I pray for everyone listening to this Devo today that they would be encouraged to accept your help in changing. Lord, we thank you so much for your love. We thank you for your power from your Holy Spirit in our lives. And we ask that we would follow you in all of our ways. We love you so much and receive your love for us in Jesus' name, amen.